Good evening. The time now is 7.48. I would like to convene the City Council Successful Agency to the Westminster Redevelopment Agency meeting. Roll call, please. Thank you. Mayor Nguyen? I'm here. Council Member West? Here. Council Member Monzo? I'm here. Council Member Ho? Here. Council Member Nguyen? Thank you, Mayor, you have a quorum. All right, next is salute to the flag. Um, please stand and join us. I would like to call on our police chief, uh, Lindsay, to introduce one of our special guests. Please remain standing. At this time, I would like to invite members of various faith groups in our city to join us in a multilingual invocation. I would like to introduce and welcome to the front of the chambers. Religious leaders. Um, I would like to uh, invite Orange County Fire Authority Chaplain Devin Chase, who will do the English invocation. And we have some Madam Sir Clerk, Lucy Colombo, will do the Spanish invocation. And Reverend Vincent Hung Pham from the Vietnamese Interfaith Council in America will do the Vietnamese invocation. Joining them, uh, Reverend Muxu David Duan and Reverend Nguyen Minh Quang from the Vietnamese Interfaith Council in America, Hoa Thượng Thik Vinh Huy from Diêu Ngự Temple, and Dr. Bikuni Elizabeth and Bikuni Hoa Lien from Bik Lien International Buddhist Institute in Westminster. Please come to the front. Please come to the front and facing now, uh, facing the audience, please. Would you please join me in prayer? God, we thank you for your presence here tonight. We ask you to pour out your peace and your love upon this place and this entire community. God, you are God of wisdom. And we ask you, God, to bring your wisdom to all the decisions that are made tonight. Amen. I'd like to invite uh, Lucy Colombo, uh, our Madam City Clerk, to do the Spanish invocation. Le pido que se unan a mí y oremos. 
Bendito Señor, te damos gracias infinitamente. Te damos gracias por el alcalde, los concejales y nuestra comunidad de Westminster. Bendice a todos, a nuestra ciudad y ayuda a, nos, a nuestros concejales a tomar decisiones adecuadas y que beneficien a nuestra ciudad y todos, lo que, todos los que viven, trabajan, van a la escuela aquí y vienen y visi a visitarnos. Une nuestros corazones, únenos en paz, dirígenos, ayúdanos y siempre manténnos en tu paz. En su bendito nombre le pedimos. Amén. Now I would like to invite a Reverend uh, Vincent Hung Pham from the Vietnamese in the Faith Council in America. We'll do the Vietnamese invocation. Lạy Thiên Chúa toàn năng, chúng con cảm tạ Chúa đã mời gọi chúng con cộng tác với Chúa và với nhau trong mọi tác vụ khác nhau, từ mỗi tôn giáo ra đến ngoài xã hội. Ngày hôm nay chúng con quy tụ nơi đây để mừng cho quý vị dân cử. Xin Chúa chúc lành cho từng vị để họ dấn thân phục vụ những nhu cầu chung trong xã hội, cách riêng cộng đồng Việt Nam và dân cư thành phố Westminster. Xin cho họ hết mình làm việc chung với nhau, bỏ qua những lợi ích riêng tư để chỉ nhắm đến những lợi ích chung của người dân. Xin cho họ đồng lòng hiệp nhất chống trả lại những mưu mô của mọi thành Phật quấy phá để dân cư tại Westminster, cách riêng cộng đồng Việt Nam, được tiếp tục chung hưởng một đời sống tự do và dân chủ. A round of applause for them, please. They come. And I want to thank, I want to thank them all uh, for coming uh, and pray for us. Now you can be seated. Next is uh, export communications. Do we have any support from the castle? Hearing none, so I'm going next to a city clerk report. Um, actually, we have the city attorney who has a report to make. Yes, okay. if I could, there's two two items. One is that we have an item on the consent calendar. I'd recommend that you would pull that item. That's item three point three. There are certain conflicts of interest on that issue, so we should vote on that separately. Uh, you don't need to vote on that now. When the consent calendar comes up, you can just pull item 3.3. Um, the second one concerns an urgency item that we would like to have added to the agenda this evening. It concerns the utility user tax that, excuse me, the um, TUT tax um, that was uh, recently approved. And we need to enter into certain agreements uh, with the state to collect that. And uh, we learned subsequent to the posting of this agenda that that needed to be approved prior to the beginning of the new year. And so we don't have another meeting. And so we need to really add that to the agenda. Um, I have uh, Aaron Bax, the finance director here to explain that further once the item comes up. But I would ask that you would walk this item onto the agenda, which would require a motion and a second and a four fifths of vote. A motion to add the item to the agenda tonight. My second. Okay, we have a motion in the second on the floor uh, to pull item 3.43 or... No, we're That's adding... Add we're adding the we're adding item. Item. Okay, agenda we are adding to the agenda. It should be the item 5.3. We have motion and second on the floor. Rule call, please. Thank you, Mayor. That motion was made by Council Member Monzo, seconded by Council Member Ho, to add this urgency item on the agenda as agenda item... 5.3. Uh, Council Member Fan West. I vote yes. Thank you. Council Member Monzo. Yes. Council Member Ho. Yes. Council Member Nguyen. Yes. And Mayor Nguyen. Yes. Motion carries 5 0 to add that item. Okay, for the 3.3, we'll wait until the consent calendar. We'll do that uh, later. So next is a CD clerk report. Um, I don't have a report at this time. I yield that. Next is CD manager report. 
Yes, very briefly this weekend, we have Santa on the go. He'll be making his final visits to our local parks. So on Saturday, December 17th, at Tony Lamb Park, which is at 8301 McFadden Avenue. Um, we'll have Santa there from 10 a.m. to 11 a.m. with some activities. Um, and then at Westminster Park on 14402 Magnolia Street from 1230 to 130. And again, that's Santa on the go. You can take photos with Santa, do crafts, activities, treats, um, and just uh, have some fun out there. Um, I just want to make a really quick update regarding our grocery gift card program because we've been getting a lot of inquiries and uh, for lack of a better term, some very um, concerned residents. So um, so at the meeting of November 9th, uh, the city council unanimously approved a grocery gift card program that would help the residents who are over age 55 and veterans. The program is funded uh, by federal COVID relief funds. It's meant to help with the impacts of COVID. Uh, the city was authorized to provide eligible seniors and veterans who live in Westminster a $100 gift card. Uh, there's a required application, proof of residency, age, veteran status if applicable, as well as requirement to provide receipts that you've already spent $100 pre-tax in groceries from a grocery store or general purpose store in Westminster. And so members of the public have been asking about the status of the program because we are not currently accepting any applications. And I wanted to make it clear that the program is just on hold. It's not canceled or stopped. Um, staff was overwhelmed by the number of applicants in the first days, and we've already helped approximately 950 residents, um, but we've had some public safety concerns with the crowds that were showing up um, and residents who essentially became really ag agitated because we couldn't process the applications fast enough. So staff didn't anticipate the huge response so quickly. So we just need time right now to take a look at the program and figure out ways to make it efficient and fair. And we will do so um, when, when that happens, we'll continue to accept application again. So in the meantime, if you have grocery receipts and have not already submitted an application, please continue to save your receipts Make sure your receipts are not fast food or restaurant receipts because we've had that happen, which slows down the process. And we cannot accept receipts for home improvement projects because that's also been happening. These were issues that we had in the first round, must be groceries. Uh, we'll provide an update of the status on the pro of on the status of the program after the new year, which will include when and how we will accept applications again. Um, but we just wanted to make it known that the program isn't canceled. It just needs to be improved so we can help you better. Um, you know, we can better help you. So I have a uh, kid who's going to translate that in Vietnamese because I know it affects a lot. And Adolfo, our assistant city manager, who will uh, translate this in Spanish as well. Trong phiên họp đầu ngày 9 tháng 11 của hội đồng thành phố, hội đồng thành phố đã toàn bộ hội đồng thành phố đã nhất quyết thông qua một cái chương trình để tặng thẻ mua thực phẩm cho cư dân của thành phố và đó phải là những người cư dân 55 tuổi trở lên hoặc là cựu chiến binh. À, cái chương trình đó đó được tài trợ bởi quỹ hỗ trợ dịch bệnh Covid của liên bang. À, thành phố đã được phép cho những cái người cư dân là cao là, là người cao niên hoặc là cựu chiến binh sống ở Westminster à, được cái thẻ mua thực phẩm À, với trị giá là 100 đô à, thì phải có để đơn xin phải chứng minh có giấy chứng minh là cư dân của thành phố cũng như tuổi tác hay là cái hiện trạng à, là cựu chiến binh à, nếu mà nếu mà cần thiết à, và phải có những cái biên nhận chứng minh rằng mình đã mua thực phẩm ở một cái tiệm bán thực phẩm hoặc là một cái cửa hàng bách quá ở thành phố Westminster và những cái biên nhận đó đã phải cộng lại là 100 đô trở lên trước khi mà tính thuế à, thì có rất nhiều người ở cư dân đã hỏi về cái chương trình này tại hiện tại thành phố hiện đang không có nhận những cái đơn đó nữa à, nhưng mà thành phố muốn nói rõ ràng đó là cái chương trình đó không có được không có phải nó bị quỷ nó chỉ được tạm đình quản à, tại vì cái số người sinh à, trong cái ngày đầu tiên đó đã lên quá 900 người, 950 người. À, đồng thời có những cái mối quan, những cái sự quan tâm về an toàn, an ninh. À, khi mà những người cư dân sắp hàng để sinh thì có thể gì chậm trễ họ có thể bực bội. Và chúng tôi không có thể xử lý hay là những cái đơn đó nhanh chóng kịp. À, và chúng tôi đã không có dự tính là có rất là nhiều người à, đã đứng ra để sinh những cái phiếu thực phẩm đó. 
À, do đó chúng tôi cần thời gian để đánh giá lại cái chương trình cũng như là để tìm cách cải thiện làm cho cái chương trình nó có hữu hiệu và công bằng hơn. Và khi mà chúng tôi đã đánh giá nó lại rồi đó thì chúng tôi sẽ tiếp tục nhận đơn lại. À, nếu quý vị đã có mua những cái thực phẩm và có những cái biên nhận thì xin quý vị hãy lưu giữ nó, à, tiếp tục lưu giữ nó. À, và nhớ đảm bảo rằng đó là những cái biên nhận đó không phải là những cái biên nhận mà mua thức ăn ở nhà hàng hay những cái nơi bán thức ăn mang về. À, chúng tôi không có thể, chúng tôi cũng không có thể nhận được những cái, không có thể chấp thuận những cái biên nhận cho những cái chương trình hay xin lỗi cho những cái um, việc mà sửa chữa nhà cửa hay cải thiện sửa chữa hay là cải thiện nhà cửa um, đó là những cái vấn đề mà chúng tôi đã gặp phải trong cái đợt đầu đây uh, tất cả những cái biên nhận phải là biên nhận cho uh, thực phẩm thì bây giờ thành phố chúng tôi sẽ cập nhật cái hiện trạng của cái chương trình sau sau đầu năm thì chúng tôi sẽ cập nhật nó và trong cái phần cập nhật đó thì chúng tôi sẽ nói là khi nào chúng tôi sẽ nhận đơn trở lại uh, xin quý vị an tâm cái chương trình này đó nó không có không có phải bị quỷ chúng tôi chỉ cần thời gian để cải thiện nó để chúng tôi có thể phục vụ quý vị một cách hữu hiệu hơn xin cảm ơn Buenas noches, mi nombre es Adolfo Saeta, subgerente de la ciudad de Westminster. En la reunión del Consejo Municipal de la ciudad de Westminster del 9 de noviembre, el Consejo Municipal aprobó un programa de tarjetas de regalo para productos demandado y comida que ayudaría a nuestros residentes mayores de 55 años y veteranos. El programa que está financiado por fondos federales de ayuda de COVID es para ayudar con los impactos de COVID. Reglamentos del gobierno federal autorizó a la ciudad de Westminster a proporcionar a las personas mayores y veteranos elegibles que viven en la ciudad de Westminster una tarjeta de regalo de 100 dólares. Personas interesadas deben de llenar una forma de solicitud requerida y prueba de residencia, edad y estado de veterano, si corresponde. También hay un requisito de presentar recibos demostrando que ya ha gastado 100 dólares antes de impuestos en productos de mandado y comida en una tienda de comestibles o una tienda de propósito general en la ciudad de Westminster. Últimamente, miembros del público han He estado preguntando sobre el estado del programa porque actualmente no estamos aceptando solicitudes. Quiero dejar en claro que el programa está actualmente en pausa, no está cancelado. Últimamente estuvimos inundados por la cantidad de solicitudes en los primeros días del programa y hemos ayudado a aproximadamente 950 residentes. Teníamos preocupaciones de seguridad pública con la multitud de residentes que se presentaron a tomar parte en el programa. Hubo residentes que se molestaron porque no podíamos procesar las solicitudes lo, su lo, sufi lo suficientemente rápido. El personal de la ciudad no anticipó la gran respuesta tan rápidamente y necesitamos tiempo ahora mismo para hacer modificaciones al programa y encontrar formas de hacerlo eficientemente y justo cuando sigamos aceptando solicitudes nuevamente. Si tiene recibos de producto demandado y comida y aún no ha enviado una solicitud, continúe guardando sus recibos. Asegúrese de que sus recibos no sean recibos de comida rápida o restaurante. Estamos, estos fueron problemas que tuvimos en la primera ronda. Deben de ser comestibles. Proporcionariamente una actualización sobre el estado del programa después del año nuevo que incluiría cuándo y cómo aceptaremos solicitudes nuevamente. Tenga la seguridad que este programa no está cancelado, solo necesita ser mejorado para que podamos ayudarlo mejor a los residentes de Westminster. Muchas gracias. I want to thank uh, staff and city manager for a fully detailed report. Thank you very much. Anything else? One, one more brief thing. Okay. I just wanted to note in the last year, um, we've had an interim community development director, Debbie Carita, um, who's been, um, you know, at the at the helm and uh, of our community development department, and just wanted to announce that you know she is. This next week is actually her last uh, week with us, and today is her last council meeting with us, wherever she is right now with, within the crowd. There she is. Okay. And um, <laughs> we just briefly, uh, we just wanted to briefly just thank her for her service with us, and she is actually going to go right off into the sunset once again. So, <laughs> thank you very much for your service, and good luck on your new adventure. 
Uh, city manager, I have a, a quick, excuse me, uh, mayor. On, the, on those uh, uh, announcements you just made as regarding the gift card program, which is it possible for you to uh, promote that on our website, social media, we, and, a web, and our webpage? We, we actually, yeah. So we're, we're going to put something up on the website tomorrow and we're putting a, um, a press release out with just basically this information just to make sure that everyone out there understands that it's, you know, it's just on hold right now. Very well. Thank you. Well, next is uh, recognition of outgoing council member Taido. I would like to, uh, to invite the city council to join me in the presentation of the former two former council member Taido. Please uh, come down. You'd like to come up to the center, former council member, with your family, if you'd like. No? Okay. So maybe you'll just use the podium one. And at, and at this point, I'd like to invite um, any council member to come up and then to uh, uh, congratulate uh, you all. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, Mayor. Um, council member Taido, for me, it's been a really a pleasure for me to be working with you for the last couple of years. I've learned a lot from you, and I've seen you work really hard uh, at you know, um, cleaning up the environment here in our city, City Hall, and also in our community. Like um, I've never seen before uh, in our city, we've lacked uh, communication with our community and, and you've done it. And This one. Hello. It's one big, one big so. yeah. I want to use my mic. Dance here. I'll use my mic. Um, I'm sorry. I have a bit of a cold today, so I'm going to use this mic. Um. Councilman uh, Taido, we um, got off to a bad start, a rough start, I'd say, but um, we, we, we ended an, on a, a positive note, and I thank you so much for uh, your service. Um, you know, in the last four years, I think the residents, I can tell you that they really appreciate you and, and all your efforts, and um, I better not say anymore, you're going to start seeing tears, and um, and and please stop singing that song toy. <laughs> and, and thank you so much for your service. Thank you. And also, um, just want to also say um, uh, thank you, Langan, for um, supporting Ty and giving him the encouragement uh, to endure um, 
our city and what happened here and the uh, his um, guidance and support. Thank you so much. Hope to see you again. So we have we actually have a city photographer. Um, if she wants to move up for us, we can do that. I will get out of the shot. You guys can, I think, squeeze in a little bit closer for her. Oh, um, yes, sir. You're Ooh, okay. Okay. So our photographer, were you able to get the photos before you were accosted by? Okay, perfect. So, <laughs> okay, perfect. Um, so, perfect. Is that it? Okay. Yeah, so, so, okay, so, yes, we actually are going to play a video right now for you, of you, okay, so have and then you will say, and then you can say your words of encouragement. Well, thank you very much. Uh, you know, four years, it's just like a blink of an eye. Uh, I still remember four years ago, coming here, uh, swan in, and, uh, you know, I thought that's going to be easy four years, right? Come in, make a, attend a meeting twice a month, make a few decisions, both yes, no, maybe, none of the above. But little that we know, uh, uh, the four years of uh, 2018, 2018, 2022, a lot of things happen. Um, Westminster becomes locally world famous. Everybody know about Westminster's? Um, but you know what, looking back, I mean, I, I, there's a lot of difficulty, there's a lot of challenges, but you know what, I enjoy every moment of it. I enjoy the challenge, I enjoy the criticism, I enjoy serving the people, I enjoy working at the council, even though we have a lot of uh, differences, but you know what, that's the way it is. And uh, I have nothing but gratitude, you know, as a refugee, um, I escaped Vietnam. Uh, my boat sank, uh, almost died. Uh, came here and you know served 
uh, the people of uh, the city of Long Beach for 27 years as a police officer, and uh, I got elected. You know, I'm one of the uh, only three or four active uh, law enforcement officers that got elected in the state of California. So it's just a great opportunity for me to serve uh, as a police officer as well as a council member. So um, I want to take I'll make it short and sweet so that the newly elected mayor Win and council member uh, Wes and Win uh, gonna uh, have an opportunity to swear in and uh, all the family uh, member gonna have uh, it's a proud moment so I want to congratulate the newly elected and as well as the family members so uh, winning an election is very difficult so congratulations thank you very much um, Couple more words. Um, just want to take this opportunity to thank the residents of uh, Westminster who voted for me in 2018 and gave me the opportunity to serve. Uh, thanks. I just want to thank all of the um, Westminster residents who take the time to come here and speak in front of the city council, Terry Rain, uh, for the past four years. Uh, you know what? Uh, this is uh, this is what it takes for the city to change you know people come to the city council five minutes every two weeks and that's what it takes so uh, hopefully i don't have to come here and use that five minutes so thank you very much and uh goodbye and good luck and merry christmas and happy new year thank you thank you langan thank you my commissioner At this time, I know that uh, um, Senator Janet Nguyen from 36th District uh, have the presentation to give it to the uh, to uh, Councilman Taido. So, please. Thank, thank you, Mayor. First of all, congratulations, Mayor, and to our two new council members. Please, though, I um, accept my sincere apologies for I'm not going to be able to stay here for the whole meeting since I've got another presentation to make at another city. And if I may, Mayor, for a few minutes, say a few words to the residents who are here or are watching today um, before I make my comments to honor Councilman Taido. I wanted to once again thank the residents of Westminster for allowing me the privilege to continue to represent them since 2007. As your county supervisor, your state senator, your assemblywoman, and now your senator once more. In all of the elections since 2008, we have always came in first place in Westminster, meeting all opponents. Your love and support means a great deal to me. From the bottom of my heart, thank you for allowing me the honor to continue to serve you, the residents of Westminster. Because of the new redistricting, our Senate district now has 22 cities, 19 of Orange County's 34 cities are in my district, which means we represent half of Orange County cities. My new best friends are the 4591, 605, PCH, and the 5 Freeway. I talk to them quite a bit these days as I travel throughout the district. But because it is a new district, it also does not have an incumbent, which means we currently don't have a district office. So I ask for your patience while we look for an office and hire our staff. We are hoping by early next year, we will have a district office and we will be fully staffed. Even though we don't have an office, we are working on your behalf in this district. So please continue to call our office if you need any assistance to my Sacramento office. And the phone number is 916-651-4036, 916-651-4036. Nine one six six five one four zero three six. As I travel to other cities to present and honor outgoing member mayors and council members for the last two weeks, it has been actually very emotional and heartwarming to see the outpouring support from the communities and community leaders for our dedicated mayors and council members. 
I'm honored to be here tonight to honor and thank Councilman Taido for your dedicated service to the residents of Westminster. We might not have always agreed, but what I respect the most is we can always respectfully disagree. I know how hard it is to be independent from political groups, political mafias, and those who has personal selfish agendas. You didn't take the temptation or the easy way out and went in those directions. You kept one thing very clear throughout your years on the council is that the only constituency that's important and worth fighting for are the residents of Westminster, not any political groups or self-interest. In addition, you have asked the very hard questions, questions that people shy away from asking or even thinking about it. You've challenged the status quo. You don't shy away from a fight for transparency or to making sure that the residents know what's going on and the business of the people. Or when the bit, or you don't even shy away from fight when the issue isn't popular. So today I'm here to present on behalf of the State Senate, a resolution to honor your service, dedication and commitment to the residents of Westminster. I also want to join Council Member Munzo to thank you and also Council Member Ho, who mentioned about your family. It is not easy what we do. We can't do what we do without our family standing by our side. And I know that my two boys who are nine years old and 11 are still standing by my side and my husband. And every night this week, actually every night for the last two, three weeks, I've not been home. Um, when you get 22 cities, it takes a lot more <laughs> than it used to. Uh, but I haven't been home and they understand. And that's what our family's there for and have been. And so, Gilangan, uh, thank you um, for allowing Westminster and its residents um, the time that Taido has put in to the city of Westminster. Um, I do have a resolution here tonight. The resolution is from my assembly office. Um, the reason why it's the assembly is because I just got sworn into office last week and I, we, it takes three weeks or four weeks to get a resolution order. And so we had to do it before the end of the year. And so we, are, we have ordered a Senate resolution as well. And once that gets here, we will get it to you. And so if you can um, join me up here, I would like to present this on behalf of my former state assembly office and my current as a Senator. Congratulations, thank you and best wishes to your future endeavors. And I know you won't go far away uh, because you are the eyes that we need in government and transparency. So congratulations and thank you for all your years of service to the residents of Westminster, because I know your heart is there for them. I just want to take the opportunity to uh, thank uh, Senator uh, Janet Nguyen for your leadership and your support in the past four years. And so I want to congratulate you for your uh, newly elected uh, Senate. Thank you very much. Next, I would like to thank invite- um, Thank you, Mayor. Thank you very much. Thanks for being here. Next, I would like to invite uh, Mr. Fong Lee from um, Congressman Alan Lovato's office. Good evening, and uh, Mr. Mayor and City Council, first of all, on behalf of Congressman Alan Lowenthal, I'm here to uh, congratulate our new mayor for the city and also new council member to the city. And uh, Congressman Lowenthal sent his best wishes to the entire city council uh, for a new term. Uh, and uh, uh, the other thing I'm here is uh, on behalf of Congressman Alan Lowenthal, I'd like to uh, recognize uh, outgoing uh, council member title tonight, but also um, in the interest of time, I might as well do it now uh, since we didn't get a chance to be here the last time to recognize uh, outgoing Mayor Tree Tar. I'd like to also present a certificate to uh, former Mayor Tree Tar, uh, who's now in the state assembly. So 
on behalf of Congressman Lowenthal, I'd like to present this two certificate to uh, former Mayor Chita and uh, former Councilman Taido. Uh, would you please accept it up here and uh, congrats. And uh, thank you for all your service and best wishes to your next endeavors. Thank you. Thank you for being here. One more. <laughs> Next is very important part of the night, uh, which is ceremonial uh, oaths of office. Uh, I'd like to um, ask city clerks to take over. Thank you, Mayor. Um, just to remind everyone, um, the City Council had a special meeting last Friday, December the 9th. And at that time, the City uh, Council adopted a resolution to certify the election, um, which resulted in uh, today's uh, reorganization. Um, at this time, I would like to invite um, a few members who are here to provide the oath, administer the oath of office ceremonially. Um, Mayor Nguyen, if you would please um, come down. And that oath of office is going to be administered by Orange County Supervisor Andrew Doe, District 1. Please come forward. I'd like to uh, invite my, my father and also my family, my wife and family, come up. Testing. All right. Okay. So, um, photo wise. Good evening. Before I administer the uh, ceremonial oath of office uh, to uh, Mayor Charlie T. Nguyen, I would like to say that Mayor, being here is the culmination of a lifetime of commitment to public service. Of all the years that you have provided to the community and to the city of Westminster. Uh, you have been a community leader before you even got elected to the city council. And the last four years, you have dedicated yourself to the better service of the city. And for that, we are all very thankful. Uh, certainly, as uh, one of the most important cities in my district, uh, I respect the work that you and the council does uh, every day. Um, and leadership is a heavy burden. And for those of us who are in public service, it's uh, is a calling. And you have answered the call valiantly. And I commend you and wish you Godspeed. Um, for the next four years as mayor of the great city of Westminster. So with that in mind, please raise your right hand and repeat after me. I, I do solemnly swear that I will support and defend the constitution of the United States and the constitution of the state of California. Against all, enemies, against all enemies, foreign and domestic, foreign and domestic that, I will bear true faith that I will bear true faith and allegiance, and allegiance to the Constitution of the United States and the Constitution of the State of California, that I take this obligation freely, that I take this obligation freely without any mental reservation. Without any mental reservation. Or purpose, of evasion, or purpose of evasion, and that I will, and that I will well, and faithfully, well and faithfully discharge the duties, discharge the duty upon which I'm about to enter. Upon which I'm about to enter. Congratulations. Thank you very much. I present to you the new mayor of the city of Westminster.
it's my privilege to have uh, Supervisor Andrew Dole uh, to come and um, you know uh, uh, administrate uh, me for the mayor of uh, install me for the mayor of the city of Westminster. I am uh, very glad that um, he can make it, and uh, thank you very much for being here. And then mayor, 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 come back. This is a certificate of election that certifies that you are indeed elected as the mayor. Thank you very much. So, uh, Thank you. Congratulations, Mayor. Um, the next member that was elected. Oh, I'm sorry. Sorry for I apologize. changing the, the challenge. Um, I'd like to take this moment uh, to thank you all for being here. First of all, uh, on behalf of the council staff, I would like to thank and welcome each and every one of you for being here tonight. I would, like, I would also like to apologize for not being able to accommodate all of you here in this council chamber. I would like to thank all voters. You have spoken loud and clear in the election. Whether you vote, voted for me or not, I am still responsible to you all the same. I will continue to work hard and maintain the pride of our city as an all-America city. I would also like to thank the religious leaders for being here tonight, to pray for us and to pray for our city with peace and prosperity. I want to thank my family and friends, my volunteers, who worked really hard during my campaign. My dad, my brothers and sisters, in-laws, especially my wife, Jacqueline Lee, my three children, Christine, Jonathan, and Katie. I could not possibly be here if it wasn't for their extraordinary efforts. At this time, I would like to take a moment to commemorate my mom, who passed away almost two years ago. She was here in this chamber four years ago when I took the oath of office as a city council member. She's not here tonight. But her, spirit, but her spirit will be here with me and my family. As for the city business, together with the council members, city staff, I have made my commitments to do whatever it takes to move the city to the next level. My slogan, as always, I'm a tax fighter, crime fighter, and a public servant. I will do just that. I am committed to make our city a safe place to work, to do business, and to raise your family. I will not allow your hard earned tax dollars to be wasted. 
and I will make sure government lives within its means. My policy is very much open. I want to work with our residents and hear your inputs. With that, I'm happy to announce that my new weekly office hour starting next year, of course, from 10 a.m. to noon every Tuesday and Thursday of the week. Now, the election is over. Let us put our mind and heart together to move the city forward. Thank you for working with me. Thank you. All right. Next up is Council Member Amy Fan West. Thank you. Can I have my family come and um, my pastor, Mike Junker, to come to swear me in? Yes, so the oath of office will be administered by Pastor Mike Junker from Harvest Orange County. Please come forward. I want to make sure that council member you are the focal point right here and usually the family is behind you. Yeah. And does this? Yes. Okay, this works. Thank you. That is yours. Do we have the Stay with. All right. So you you talk about First of all, I'd like to say it's an honor today to swear in uh, Amy, Amy Fan West. I call her Amy, but uh, Amy Fan West. And uh, I'm so impressed with her um, drive. And, you know, I was thinking about real quick, um, she's a, a loving and tenacious wife, a loving and tenacious mother. And I know she's going to bring this into the community because she's she loves and tenacious for the city of Westminster and her district. So let me go ahead and swear her in. Amy, would you repeat after me? I, Amy Fan West, Fan West. do solemnly swear West. that I will support and defend the Constitution of the United States against all enemies, foreign and domestic, that I will bear true faith Faith, and allegiance to the same, and allegiance to the same that, I, that I take this obligation freely, I take this obligation freely without any mental reservation, mental reservation or purpose of, evasion, purpose of evasion, and that I will, that I will well and faithfully, faithfully discharge the duties of this office, the duty of, this office of which I am about to enter. So help me God. So help me God. <laughs> Center yourself in the middle because you're a little, you're a lot on the side. So.
Go you gotta do your, you gotta do your solo, your solo certificate of election. Here, give me your phone. Oh, there you go. And council member Fan West is the first council member elected to District One. <laughs> so council member west you have anything to share yes i just want to take this moment to uh, say thank you um so thank you so much for your attendance tonight. The future of our city is bright, but we have many serious challenges that face our community. As your new councilwoman, I will work with the city manager to execute the following priorities. Number one, to ensure, ensure that our streets are safe for our families. Number two, permanently address the homeless problems. Number three, to encourage job creation in our city. Number four, ensuring that our infrastructure is modernized to allow businesses to thrive. Number four, actually, sorry, number five, streamline the regulatory process and cut red tape so that small businesses can expand without endless delays and fees. Number six, to make our streets safer means providing full funding for our first responders and supporting them and not defunding the police. Thank you. And last, for job creators, tonight I pledge with you to meet with small and large businesses uh, in our city and I want to empower you and I wanna welcome you to our city. As I grow up, I grew up in this community, I have watched so many generations thrive, but we must fight to ensure our community remains safe and continue growing so that everyone have an opportunity to succeed. And at this moment, I just wanna thank, you know, my family, my mom, my dad, my dad who, you know, took us on a fishing boat to, we escaped because of his bravery and his courage, but not only that, his courage to fight for our freedom, but unfortunately we lost our, our country, Vietnam, but his courage has allowed me to follow a suit to lead this council uh, and this city and the people in our city and the businesses with courage as well. And so I wanna thank my mom and dad, uh, my brother and sister, you know, my husband and our three boys, without my husband's support, I couldn't do this. And he's holding the fort, you know, at home with the boys. And I really appreciate that. And not only that, I thank, you know, our supporter and our volunteers, and you know who you are, who've helped my campaign in this season. And I appreciate you because I can't do it alone. And last, and I want to thank God. It is absolutely God who put me in this place for such a time as this. And I know that I will make you guys proud and I'll do what's right. I will fight for our family, our freedom and a way of life. And that's what I intended to do. And um, I wanna thank you so much for putting your trust in me. And I promise I won't let you down. And may God bless your family this Christmas. May God bless America. And may God bless this great city, Westminster. Yes. Thank you, Mayor. And Thank next you. up is Council Member Namquan Nguyen for District 4. The oath of office will be administered by former State Assemblyman Van Tran. May I invite my family to come up here?
Are you working? Uh, first of all, friends and neighbors, it's a pleasure and an honor to be here tonight. Happy Hanukkah, Merry Christmas, and Happy New Year. It's uh, indeed a pleasure, and we are all blessed tonight to be here to witness history in the making. And I am so honored to stand here in front of the city council in which I had the opportunity to uh, represent in the state legislature for six years, three full terms. And I know the city is going to places and it can do a lot more with the potential that it has and the resources that it has with the county as well as with the state. So we are looking towards 2023 with all the good projects for the residents and the citizens of the city of Westminster. And I am very pleased and honored to swear in Councilman Elector, if not already, Councilman Nam Kwang Nguyen. I know Nam Kwang not very long ago, but through the years, maybe within the last three years, I have found that he is a man of integrity. He speaks his mind, he keeps his word, and he will do what is right, regardless of what other people tell him. And that is what we need on the city council. You know, I had the opportunity, just as with State Assemblyman Tree Ta, former mayor of Westminster, along with Supervisor Andrew Doe, who also served on the Garden Grove City Council. And I can tell you, and we all know this, my colleagues, that being on the city council, you have the most impact on a daily basis with all the residents and citizens of your city. Sometimes it gets very raw. And sometimes it gets very, very emotional because you run into your residents and your constituents at the supermarket, at the restaurants, and you can hear an earful. But at the end of the day, it really is an honor to serve as a public servant, as a council member. So I want to congratulate the mayor, along with council member Amy Fan West, for a hard fought election. Today you celebrate, tonight you celebrate but tomorrow you serve the people of Westminster. Are you ready for your swearing in? Yes, I'm ready. Please raise your hand. This is the oath of office for the office of council member, District 4, Westminster City Council. I state your name. I, Nam Kwan Nguyen. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. That I will support and defend. That I will support and defend. The Constitution of the United States. The Constitution of the United States. And the Constitution of the State of California. And the Constitution of the State of California. Against all enemies. Against all enemies. Foreign and domestic. Foreign and domestic. That I will bear true faith and allegiance. That I bear true faith and allegiance. To the Constitution of the United States. To the Constitution of the United States. And the Constitution of the State of California. Constitution of the State of California. That I take this obligation freely. That I take this obligation freely. Without any mental reservation. Without any mental reservation. Or purpose of evasion. Or purpose of evasion. And that I will. And that I will. Well and faithfully discharge. Well and faithfully discharge. The duties upon which, the duty upon which I am about to enter. I am about to enter. Congratulations, Councilman. What's up? City photographer, hold on, hold on. You're not off the hook. Take two through six and then. 
Councilman. And council member Nam Kwan Nguyen is the first council member to district number four. Yes. yes. So council member Nguyen, um, it's time for you to share your comments. All right, uh, thank you, Mayor Charlie uh, Chi Nguyen. Uh, I have a few uh, words. Um, to share. And uh, first of all, I want to I want to extend my thanks uh, to all the uh, honor uh, guests that uh, attend this uh, um, a ceremony, swearing swearing ceremony. Um, my dear friends, neighbors, and council colleagues, in this council chamber tonight for our screening in ceremony. Your presence represent a new horizon dawning upon our beloved city of Westminster. First, I want to thank the resident of District 4 who have supported me and entrusted me with your votes in November 8 election. Secondly, I would like to extend my gratitude to the former mayor, now California State Assemblyman, Chita is right there. Can you uh, stand up for, for recognize? Thank you. And uh, to so many friends who have stood with me, by me from the very beginning of this campaign and throughout the years, including uh, former California Assemblyman and currently the, the director of the Orange County Water District, uh, Attorney Van Tran, the one that, uh, that square me in. Thank you, sir. Uh, Westminster Mayor Chi Charlie Nguyen. Thank you. And uh, Garden Grove Unified School District Trustee Attorney Lung Nguyen, who is not here because of uh, he, uh, his family has a, a funeral. Uh, his brother passed away recently. And um, Director of OCWD Division One Attorney Dina Nguyen and former California State Assemblyman Tali Jip. Um, there are more special, there are three more special people who I want to thank tonight, uh, which is my sister. She's uh, filming me right now. Um, without her, uh, I cannot uh, uh, run my, my campaign because she's the one that uh, taking care of uh, my two uh, children, um, Evelyn and Aiden Nguyen, uh, when I was busy on, on the road, walking, knocking doors. Um, of course, I cannot forget my comrade, uh, the one that uh, contributed and uh, the loyal support of my fellow um, community activist and advisor, Mr. Ngo Kei. Can you stand up for recognizing Kei? Yeah, thank you so much. Uh, he's been with me every little step of the way in our long journey to build a better Westminster. And lastly, a special appreciation go to the mother of my two children, Ketle. She's not here with us um, for taking care of and for nurturing our children for the last 10 years. Um, I want also convey a special thank you to my parents, especially my father, uh, although he's no longer of this world, he passed away like a few months ago. 
I always remember and take my father's advice to heart and sustain in my love for this country and its freedom, which is selfless and unending. I'm grateful to my mother, who is present here tonight. She's sitting right there. Um, I would like to send this personal message to my mom. Uh, mom, I thank you and I'm grateful for your patience and for your nurturing and taking care of me. Um, I appreciate my small family with my two beautiful ch children, um, Evelyn Nguyen, which is my, um, my daughter, and Aiden is my son. Um, they are my hope and my life, and they have given me the inspiration for public service with the goal of bringing about an environment of peace and safety for all families to raise our children in this Westminster city. I'm thankful to have supporters from relatives, friends, and media colleagues who have volunteered their time and they protected my name and reputation during the campaign. They have played a very, very important role in my victory today. Lastly, I want to thank my donor and supporters who unquestionably believe in me, have stood by me throughout this challenging campaign, as with so many other Orange County cities. Westminster is facing many problems, one of which is the homeless issue. As a council member, I am committed to spend my time, my energy to resolving this humanitarian crisis. Thank you all for your love and support. Tonight, Westminster is turning to a new page in its history. We are facing a new horizon, looking forward to a new beginning. We must all work together to resolve the many challenges confronting the city as we strive to bring peace, prosperity, and the decent quality of life that our residents deserve. I call the city's public safety personnel, all city employees, both management and rank and file, and my council colleagues to reject the residue of friction or personal conflict to stand with me side by side in working for the best interest of all residents of Westminster. Westminster is a very nice place to live. For many Vietnamese Americans, such as myself, Westminster, California, also represents a spiritual capital of the worldwide Vietnamese diaspora that have fled the oppression of communism in Vietnam. Lastly, I want to make an important announcement. I will volunteer my service as a member of the city council. I will donate my monthly city council salary to charity or to worthy projects that help promote Westminster. Yeah, although my council salary is very modest, only a few hundred dollars after tax, at, I guess like about uh, 850. Um, it is my first step, but it is my first step in my own way, in my own way to help my beloved city. Again, thank you for the love of, and support. Now let us, let us hit the ground and running, working to serve the resident of Westminster. Thank you. Thank you, Councilmember Nguyen, and thank you for uh, thank you, Councilmember West. 
on behalf of the city um, council and staff, congratulations to both of you and welcome. Next uh, of the, uh, the next to the agenda uh, for the meeting today, tonight, uh, is an important part of the agenda as well. And this is a presentation to the newly elected council. We are honored to have some special guests today from our elected office, offices representing Westminster. And at this time, I would like to invite to the podium a representative from the Office of Congresswoman Marcel Steele, the 45th District. Do we have a representative from? Thank you. Good evening, council members. My name is Sonia Terwiski. I am here on behalf of Congresswoman Michelle Steele. I am particularly here for all the incoming as well as the outgoing council members. Um, please accept our gratitude from, from our office, from the Congresswoman. Um, as you know, public service is not an easy task. It seems glamorous, but without a doubt, it is a privilege and it comes with sacrifice. And for that, uh, we're thankful. Thank you for your service. And for the new incoming council members, the Congresswoman wishes you all the best and she looks forward to working with you and continuing to serve the city of Westminster. So thank you and congratulations. Thank you. Next, uh, I would like to uh, welcome back our former mayor. Um, and now he is a 70 district state assemblyman, uh, Trita and his staff to the podium. But before he step uh, up to the podium, I would like to take this opportunity to thank him for the, uh, for the years of service. He had put in 16 years of service here at the city of Westminster. And 10, 10 of which uh, of those years uh, is the mayor, or was the mayor of the city of Westminster. And I'm happy to have him back here. Uh, he's still you know, um, a representative for the city of Westminster, but he's here tonight to congratulate the new council as well as the mayor. I would like to invite hey, um, State Assemblyman Trita and his college uh, staff. The mic is working intermittently. Interesting. <laughs> good evening, every good evening, everyone. I'm so honored to be back. So uh, I'll be back at the state assembly for the uh, 70 district. But uh, I feel so honored and feel really happy today to extend my congratulations on behalf of the California State Assembly to the new mayor, Mayor Charlie Wynn, uh, Council Member West, and Council Member Wynn. Uh, really want to thank uh, for your dedication and your willingness to serve the community. Uh, I really want to thank all the family for being here to support the mayor and two new council members. And uh, like uh, uh, Supervisor Andrew Doe uh, mentioned earlier that being being uh, Public can, servants. Can I stop you for a minute, please? Can you get um, uh, Supervisor Enver Doe come back, please? Okay, sorry about that. Go ahead. So uh, being uh, public servants, that means that you're willing to take all the burden, you're facing all the challenge. And like our former assembly member Van Tran mentioned earlier that Today you celebrate, but tomorrow you start to serve. Being on Westminster City Council for 16 years, 
it helped me a lot. It helped me to be more patient than ever. It also gave me experience to serve the community. And now I'm your voice in Sacramento. Uh, I will be, I will have my office in the district, I believe this month. And I will have my staff uh, to go to the council meeting sometime to give you all the update, what's going on in Sacramento. And Mr. Bui here is one of my staff. So I have a certificate from California State Assembly to the new mayor and two council members. So I'd like to invite right. you yes. to come, Please come down. and receive the certificate. And I'd like to invite Supervisor Andrew Doe and former Senate member Van Tran to join me to give certificate to the new mayor and two council member. No, you're excited. Just the council members will be assembling. All right. Thank you. And lastly, uh, please welcome Counter Supervisor Andrew Doe from the First District and his staff to the podium, please. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Mayor Nguyen, um, uh, City Council members. Uh, congratulations to the mayor and the new council members for your election and your win. Um, thank you for giving me an opportunity uh, to address the, uh, the council and the residents of, of the city of Westminster tonight. Um, after all the formality is over, now we get down to the business of the city. Uh, I just want to take a moment to bring us back when council member Nguyen talked about a new horizon. 46 years ago, I moved from Alabama after relocating from Vietnam to Orange County. Even though I lived in Garden Grove, most of my shopping and business was done in the city of Westminster, particularly on, the, on, uh, on Bosa. And back then it was a very much just a back road with small businesses, nothing like what we see here today. And fast forward 45, 46 years later, here we have a new opportunity to bring the city forward and bring it to new heights. And the messages that I heard tonight, one of cooperation and collaboration, gives me hope, gives me optimism that I believe that our city will once again be able to thrive and to bring in business 
and to create opportunities for our residents. All of the challenges that we see both pre and post COVID are still there. If anything, those challenges are heightened because of COVID. But with your renewed spirit, with your dedication uh, to work together and to bring the city forward, I am very encouraged. When we look at the Civic Center, we look at land parcels that are owned by the county and then the rest are owned by the city. I see opportunities for us to collaborate, to make better use of our properties. When I look at Westminster Mall, I see the largest opportunity for redevelopment left in any major urban area in the county. And so the opportunities are presented to the county, but particularly for the city of Westminster are enormous. And I believe post COVID Orange County, particularly Westminster are well poised to be able to create economic opportunities, especially with remote working opportunities, telecommuting uh, with the ability now for people to have clients all over the country because people are more receptive to the ideas of working remotely, that we have the opportunity to create uh, these hubs of economic activities, of innovation, and that will bring in revenues and, and that will make the city more prosperous. And so I dedicate uh, myself as your county supervisor for the remainder of my term to work with the city council members and the city council and the residents of, of Westminster to be able to move forward. And, and I applaud all of you for your really uh, committed public uh, commitment to collaboration and, and cooperation. So congratulations again. Thank, Thank you. you very much, Supervisor Andrew Do. And it is our privilege to have the state and county representative here tonight uh, to be with us uh, is very important. And thank you for taking the time to be here. Um, at this time, I would like to uh, call for a recess. And I know the staff have the cake for, for us. So please join us for refreshment and photos. Uh, we will return in 15 minutes uh, after.